Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and the bell button for notification. Last time, we have talked about the absolute value of integers. If you haven't watched that video yet, please click the suggested video above. Now this time, we are going to talk about something that I have promised you last time that is about the primary operations of integers. But for this video, I am just going to talk about addition of integers. We have three methods in addition of integers that I'm going to introduce now, but I am going to tell you which of the three methods is better to use in the long run. Now let's start. Our first method is addition using the number line. So the number line is something that I have discussed in my previous video that is about the absolute value. We have the first case that is adding two positive integers. We have our number line. Now our given is 4 plus 5. Let me introduce the parts in addition. So we have the addends. These are the numbers that we are adding up. So it might be two numbers, three numbers, four numbers, or more. In this case, we only have two numbers. Our addends are four and five. Now, the answer in addition is called sum. For our process, if we use the number line method, we are going to start with the first addend, and our first addend is four. Now, four is positive. Remember, this is something that we have learned from early grades. From grade 1 and grade 2, we are always taught how to add positive integers. Now, for first addend, that is 4, we find in the number line, where is number 4 located? Remember, this is a positive integer, so it is always in the right side of the number line. We put a mark, and then we go next to the second add in, that is 5. Since 5 is a positive integer, we move to the right. 5 is our second add in, so we move 5 units to the right. We end up at 9. Now write the final answer, 9. Let's have our second case, adding two negative integers. Here's the number line. The given facts, we add negative 3 and negative 2. Now the same process, we start with the first add-in, that is negative 3. We find negative 3 in the number line. Again, negative integers, always located at the left side of the number line. Put a mark, and then we add negative 2. So for our second add-in, since num negative 2 is a negative integer, we move to the left. Remember, if we add negative integers, we move to the left. If we add a positive integer, we move to the right. Easy to remember, right? So now we move two units to the left because negative 2 is negative. From negative 3, we move two units to the left. We end up at negative 5. Now we have the answer, negative 5. For our third case, that is adding a positive and negative integer. Now we have our number line. We follow the same process that we have done earlier. Let's have 7 plus negative 4. First, we start with the first addend. The first addend is 7. 7 is positive. Now 7 is in the right side of our number line. We put a mark. 7. Then we add negative 4. Negative 4 is our second addend. Negative 4 is a negative integer. We move 4 units to the left. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. We end up at 3. We put a mark. Write our final answer. 3. For our fourth case, we are going to add a negative and positive integer. Now let's start. Our given is negative 9 plus 6. The same process. We start with the first addend, that is negative 9. Remember, a negative integer is on the left side of the number line. Now, negative 9, we put a mark. And then we move 6 units to the right. 
Why? Because 6 is the second addend. It is positive. The, the addend is positive. We move to the right. 6 units to the right. Where do we end up? Negative 3. Now the answer, negative 3. Now let's have our second method. This is addition using sign tiles. The same cases that I have presented earlier, but a different method. But we are going to end up with the same solution or answer. Now it's up to you which of the methods is easier for you to use. Now the same example. Remember, green tiles are positive, red tiles are negative. The process. First, we start with the first addend. It is 4. We put the green tile as positive in one row. Align tiles with the same color in one row. Now, with, let's proceed to the second addend. That is 5. Since 5 is positive, we are going to use a green tile. Where should we align it? With a green tile, of course. Now let's add 5 more tiles. And then we count them all. 9 green tiles means positive 9 or simply 9. For our second case, we are going to add 2 negative integers. We have the same example. Negative 3 plus negative 2. Again, green tiles are positive, red tiles are negative. For our first process, we start with the first addend that is negative 3. Remember, it is negative, so it is a red tile, negative 3. We put 3 red tiles. And then again, we align tiles with the same color in one row. We proceed with the second addend. It is negative 2. Now we add 2 red tiles because it is negative. We count all the tiles, five tiles that are red. Now the answer, negative five. For our third case, we are going to add a positive and a negative integer. The example, seven plus negative four. We start with the first add-in that is seven, positive. Now we use green tiles for positive. We put seven green tiles. Then we proceed with the second add-in that is negative 4. Remember, negative 4. We use red tiles. Let's have it. 4 red tiles. Next, we cancel the tiles that appear in the same column and count the remaining tiles. Cancel all tiles that appear in the same column or to make it easier for you, Cancel a positive and a negative tile that has a pair. What do we have left? Three green tiles. Three green tiles. A green tile is positive. Final answer, three. Positive three, or we can write it as three. For our fourth case, we are going to add a negative and a positive integer. Negative nine plus six. Now we start with the first add a negative 9 is negative red tile, 9 red tiles. There we have it. Next, we proceed with the second add -in, that is 6. 6 is positive. Now positive is green tile. We add 6 green tiles and then we cancel the tiles that make pairs and now we are left with only one, two, three red tiles. Red tiles are negative. The answer is negative three. Please click the subscribe button and bell button for notifications. Thank you. Now this is the last method that I'm going to introduce now. This is addition using the rules. And if you have discovered or if you have seen your elder brothers or sisters who are doing the algebra brands all they are using this method because this method is easier when the numbers go bigger we can put 1000 in the number line and then just do the thing and put 5000 green and red tiles it's kind of hard 
we can't finish our exams on time. So that's the reason we are using this third method, addition, using the rules. Now for our first rule, if the integers have like signs, add the numbers and copy the common sign. What is like signs? It's either two positives, we are adding two positive numbers, or two negative numbers. That is what we call like signs. It's simple. We just add the numbers, copy the common sign. Our second rule, if the integers have unlike signs, let's say we are adding up a negative and a positive number, we subtract the numbers and copy the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value. Now, absolute value was discussed in my previous video. You can check that out if you haven't watched it yet. So now, let's proceed with our first case that is adding two positive integers. Now, remember, two positive integers are like signs. And then our second case, adding two negative integers. The same thing, like signs. So in this case, we are going to use our first rule. Now, in our first rule, we add the numbers and copy the common sign. For our first case, 4 plus 5, add the numbers. The common sign is positive. 4 plus 5 is 9. For our second case, we add the numbers. 3 plus 2 is 5. Then copy the common sign that is negative. The final answer is negative 5. Now, here are the rules again. For this case, we are going to add a positive and negative integer. And then we are going to add a negative and positive integer. We are going to follow the second rule that is adding integers with unlike signs. Let's get rid of the first rule. For our case 3, we have 7 plus negative 4. Now, they are unlike signs because 7 is positive, 4 is negative. We should subtract them. 7 minus 4 is 3. Now, which is greater, 7 or 4? 7 is greater. What's the sign of 7? Positive. The answer is positive 3 or simply 3. Now, for case 4, negative 9 plus 6. They are unlike signs as well. 9 is negative. 6 is positive. What should we do? Subtract. 9 minus 6 is 3. Which is greater, 9 or 6? 9. What is the sign of 9? Negative. Their final answer, negative 3. Now, we have another case for this. Adding multiple integers. What if we are adding up three integers? They have different signs. What should we do? I'll teach you. Here's an example. 18 is positive plus negative 11 plus 3. How do we do this easily? To do this easily, remember we have our rules here. We should add the numbers and copy the common sign for integers that have like signs. Now we start with the like signs. 18 and 3 are both positive. So we start there. 18 plus 3 is 21. And then we proceed with negative 11 because that is the only negative add-in. What do we do for unlike signs? We subtract. 21 minus 11 is 10. Which is greater, 21 or 11? Of course, 21. The sign is positive. Answer, positive 10 or simply 10. Let's have another example for multiple integers. Negative 4 plus 25 plus negative 15. Now, what's the first thing? We identify the integers that are like signs, and those integers are negative 4 and negative 15. Now, we add them up first to make it easier. Negative 4 and negative 15, we add them up. Now, for like signs, we add the numbers and copy the common sign. Common sign is negative. 15 plus 4 is 19. Now, we proceed with positive. 21 
25. Now we are going to add negative 19 and positive 25. They are unlike signs, so we should subtract. To subtract, let's line it up easier. It's like that, but still the same thing. 25 is still positive, 19 is still negative. We subtract them, the answer is 6. Now, which is greater, 25 or 19? Of course, 25 is greater than 19. We follow the sign of 25. It's positive. The answer is positive 6 or simply 6. Another example, negative 100 plus 48 plus 49, we find two numbers that have the same sign, that is positive 48 and 49. First thing we should do is to add them up. The answer is 97. Now, we add negative 100. Let's write it in a way that is easier for us to subtract. Of course, negative 100 plus 97. 100 minus 97 is 3. Now, that is negative because 100 is greater than 97. We follow the sign of the number with a greater absolute value. That is 100. Now, our final answer, negative 3. And that ends our video on addition of integers. I hope you have learned a lot and I guess you can answer your modules correctly by now. Now for our next video, you have to stay tuned because I am going to talk about subtraction of integers. I'm going to teach you hints, tips, tricks, hacks, techniques, the easier way to answer and solve subtraction of integers fast and correct. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.